Live from Studio A, The 630 Show with Dave Gray. Hi, thank you so much. As there's feedback, I don't know what that was when one guy collapsed. It is me, Dave. How are you? Welcome to tonight's show. It's a little bit different tonight. We're going to take your calls. Don't worry. I'm on with talking to tonight, Darlington from the Isthmus, or as they say on Channel 3, the Isthmus. I don't know, they screwed it up over there. But we have a new segment debuting tonight. Now that would be Media Bites. Yes, that's B-I-T-E-S. Now each week we're gonna take a look at visuals from around our local and national world, make comments and hopefully funny, witty, and possibly insightful repartee about what we see in our lives. Now, our first additional Media Bites is underway. Right here, Omer Subhaman claims to tell you that the water in this city is clean. She just been seen with kind of a lovely purple glow after drinking from Lake Winona. Kind of scary. Seems normal to me. Now take a look at this ad right here. This is good. I like this. Now this seems normal, but take a closer look at Jerry. Can we skip to the next thing? Hey! There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like having to do that. All right. Now this seems normal, this ad here. Now that's not the right one. Oh my God. See, now we're back to the other thing. So you try a new thing with you people. What is wrong with you? All right. I don't like having to yell at the crew. Stay calm. This is Jerry the Drifter. That's his TV authorized service. Now, sir, it might be a good idea to get your TV repaired, but do you really want to hand it over to a nameless drifter? Not a good idea. Okay, go ahead, skip to the one that you already gave away. After years of abuse this week, Bert shot and killed Oscar the Grouch. It's terrible. Bert. Okay, skip. There, that's our new system. This morning, President Clinton answered reporters' queries as to how many times he's told the truth during his stay in the White House. <laughs> Describing what we hope is great America, right here President Clinton makes the announcement that interns must be this tall to ride. <laughs> hey, French Foreign Minister Ibir Verdine and U.S. Secretary of State Marilyn Albright contemplate a very special episode of Dawson's Creek on the WB. <laughs> my floor director's one. Mm. At a press conference held by the WWF this week, it was announced that world tag team champions Deadly Donna Shalala and giant Janet Reno would be taking on this man, Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura, who, when questioned about the match, teared up and said, Look, I'm just a governor. Tell those thugs to lay off, please. Now in medical news, the National Enquirer published this groundbreaking photo showing what happened when a man in Stoughton on Viagra made love to his child's Furby. Oh! <laughs> at the Grammys. <laughs> That's my favorite, too. Now at the Grammys, Duke Erickson and Butch Vig of Madison Band Garbage win their bet with Madonna that they can indeed ruin an Armani dress with a $10 garbage iron-on. There it is right there. Garbage. See? You get it? Cool. All right. Yo, Kiro Home Permanent? Okay, move on. <laughs> the new billboards for the Dave Gray Show are up. Good to see those. They're happy. Uh-oh, uh look at this right here. This is my favorite one because I've been trying to find this one on my girlfriend for years. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's the mystery spot. Okay, now you basically get how the Media Bites go. That's the first edition of it. It's simple and easy. Now stay alert because someday you could be our subject. Speaking of which, now that you know how it works, here's how you play. Here's the picture right here. Can you see the picture? Go ahead. Go to it. See? Okay, you're seeing the picture. Just Let's go to just the picture, not me. Okay, there's the picture. Now, you can be the winner of a Rocky Rococo's Pizza. It's simple and easy. Just send your caption for this picture right here, which isn't all that hard. <laughs> oh, my God. I had like nine jokes, and I was afraid to use any of them because I thought I'd get fired. Just send them to Dave630Show at Yahoo.com. Yes, that's Dave630Show at Yahoo.com. you got six days to send us your winning entry. It's that simple. It's that easy. And we will be right back. Oh, my God. We're going to be back with Tanaya Darlington from the Isthmus to talk about all sorts of issues with you. We'll talk about the pyramids, we'll talk about Monica Lewinsky, we'll talk about the, the uh, Oscars, the Oscars. Just call us at 270-9933, you're our expert. I'm tired, I'm gonna go sit down. Are we back, are we back on the 6.30 show now? I'm checking to see if we're back, hi. It's me Dave, but now joining me from the Isthmus, staff writer, and in fact, my favorite writer in the entire city, and the writer of, most recently, my favorite article, Tanaya Darlington, who wrote this. Now, I don't know what it is about this article that appealed to me so much, but I do like it. <laughs> it, is, it is nice, isn't it? I like the photo, the whole deal. Tanaya writes about virtually everything. Recently told me you wrote about Valentine's Day, but oh, not nice. in your usual way. No, what happened Dave. to you on Valentine's Day, Tanaya? <laughs> This is like kind well, of a grunge Dave. Regis and Kathy Lee. This is good. <laughs> we are. We, we are the alternative Regis and Kathy Lee. Go ahead. Tell me. What happened? Well, Dave, 
I was sent over to the Inferno where they had a, well, I can't actually say it on the air because say, it's an expletive. They had an anti-Valentine's party. I don't know how much we're allowed to swear here. Okay, well, I'm not going to swear. You know, write it for me, girl. though. Write it. Is, it. is it this word right here? Is it this word? Is it that Your word? Your hand's too big. Is it that word? Yes. Oh, that's a naughty one. Seriously, it is. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Well, uh, Phil of Phil's fans was there doing a very sexy, very erotic uh, fashion show. Wow. Featuring a lot I don't of imagine this was involved. No, it was not. Okay. And there was also an interactive torture chamber. An interactive so torture chamber. So if you wanted to have an anti sort of <laughs> Valentine's, that was the place to be. As opposed to a lot of the Valentine's chambers where they, the torture chambers are not interactive. Right. Correct. And this one, you, how did you torture yourself? Was that the deal? Well, I don't know. It was sort of a, it was sort of sidelined because Phil's Fad's show was so, you know, boisterous and crazy that everyone that really stole the so show. So there was supposed to be a lot of love and gooiness, but instead I, there was a torture chamber. Correct. I, a lot like I dating heard Ryan's about girlfriend. hot wax in the back. I heard about women shackled. I heard about riding crops, but I didn't see a lot of that happening. Wow. Yes. That's a lot like TVW. Yeah. And back when you yeah. first work here, there's a whole intern <laughs> stage you go through. Speaking of interns, one of the things we're going to talk about tonight is Monica Lewinsky. Now, we're talking about her because tomorrow on 2020, you will see Monica Lewinsky finally coming and talking to Barbara Walters, who I think we all want to talk to and tell our deepest secrets to. Love her. I have a few things I want to share with someone. I, I can't decide with who, but I think it would be with her. <laughs> um, Monica did not want to talk originally to Roseanne. She didn't want to talk with her because uh, I guess Roseanne offered her a million dollars. So I guess the president at that point was pretty much the only thing she was doing for free. And, uh, and then she decided that she wanted to be on ABC to legitimize herself. And I guess she has some powerful story to tell. And I'd like to know for once if people are just sick and tired of this. Because I'm sick of even saying the word. I realize today I'm, I'm typing the word Lewinsky. It's become a verb. You Lewinsky somebody. Oh, I've been lewinsky out of $10. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's terrible. And I want to know for you as a writer, is this something somebody came to you and said to do a Monica Lewinsky? Can you, is there an angle left to write about? An angle left to write about Monica Winsky. Is there anything left? I mean, it... probably not at this point. I mean, the only thing we haven't seen is her. I've heard that for Barbara, she's doing it for free. Yeah. Um, I want to watch it. I'm very curious, the but I also think she's it. just going to be pummeled. I think it's going to be gross and sad. Well, I, I imagine, much like Monica Lewinsky, it will be gross and sad. <laughs> um, no offense to, to her if she's watching at home. But it says here that uh, it was toughest for her when she was questioned by the grand jury. She was questioned, it says here, and it said that they came to me and they said, why do you have a propensity to date married men? Now, why that made her cry, I don't know. Because she obviously did have a propensity. I didn't even know the president was married, by the way. But then she said it was very hard. She didn't want to tell any story at all. It was hard for her even to talk to Barbara. But then she mentions in the next sentence that her book, Monica Story, is coming out the next day. So her book will no doubt be gigantic, too. Absolutely. This is Anybody would want to write this book. So while people keep saying they don't want anything to do with this, everyone is going to be reading and finding out more about it. So what I want to know is, will people at home tune in? You say you'll watch, and you're smart. <laughs> so that's the thing. Thank that, you, Dave. No, you are. Like, I talk to you, and you, like, have all sorts of degrees, and you went to college and stuff. I don't get that kind of stuff because I, you know, I'm not real bright. Right. And you did, and you're going to watch. So I, I think the general public, I want to see what happens with them. Are they going to watch? Do you think this is going to be as highly rated as ABC obviously mm, thinks it is? I think it's going to be like that whole Nancy Kerrigan, you know, episode where everyone watched, yeah, everyone tuned in, but, you know, then people are going to forget but about it. But at the end, she's going to hit Barbara in the back of the knee. It's, it's going to be that kind of thing. They're going to be on ice. <laughs> when you think about it, Lewinsky and Galuli. Maybe we could hook yeah. up Jeff Galuli and Monica Lewinsky. Maybe that's our new goal here. I just think it's a little odd, and we have a picture, and I'm staring at it. I wish I could show you at home. You've probably seen it, of Monica and Barbara Walters together, if you take a look at that. And I just see the president, president looking at that and going, no, which one was it? Because I know he doesn't know anymore. You know he doesn't remember. We're going to talk about that tonight. We're going to talk about Y2K. We've got everything in the world to talk about and more. But before we do anything else, well, you know what we're going to do? Um, no, I'm, I'm hearing something from my producer. Can I, can I know or not? All right. Something I don't usually do here on the show, and I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment, if I may, just to set up. You know, because I have a guest on the show, and I think a guest should be treated right to only the finest food. Is this no, the this dinner is, you've been promising yes, of me? Of course. I find, you know, I, I take people out, and I think that I, why not? You know, we could go to some restaurant and spend thousands of dollars, but you're not going to get the quality of food that I have right here. Oh my goodness. You got Excuse loads of dreamy dressings back there, Dave. I don't Fresh need loads fruit, of dreamy dressings. various you know vivacious vegetables. I've got better. I have got right here the Rococo Chicago pizza. The Rococo Chicago pizza, where the sausage is on top. Do you see that right there? Go ahead. 
Enjoy. Nope, they can't see it. Enjoy. Go ahead. Me? Let, me, let me tilt this to the camera. Yeah, go ahead. You enjoy. Go mm. ahead. Partake in the goodness that is Rocky Rococo's. Well, let me say something right now. Is there a right subliminal now. message here? Well, I'm not saying that I love Rockies. I'm not saying that I would love for Rockies to come mm. on board the Dave Gray train to success. Mm. But I am saying this. Rocky Rococo's, he's my father. <laughs> no, I wanted to reveal something spectacular and I couldn't. I will tell you this, this pizza is the best damn pizza I ever had. And I was stranded once on a desert island with nothing but Rocky Rococo's pizzas for five years. And this got me through it. So if you stay with us after this break, we'll still be here and the pizza won't. So <laughs> we will see you. We're talking about Y2K when we get back. Look at that. Look at me right there with the hat. That Rocky ever kicks off, I got me a job. Check it out. Back now on the 6.30 show. Oh, there I am, blinking away with Rocky. Let me tell you something, this thing is amazing. I had a, a couple of slices during the break, as you can see. A little bit hungry. See, that's what you can do. And now I'm full. See, that's not, I'm full, but I'm not too full. And that's the trick, ladies and gentlemen, the beauty and the goodness of the Rocky Rococo's pizza. On line one, we have Louis, or maybe it's Louis. I believe it's Louis. Louis, you there? Yeah. Hey, Louis, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good, Louis, yeah, Louis get close to your screen right now. Get close to your screen, Louis. I right see up close it. to it. There we go. Right up close. Take a bite, Louis. Go ahead. Let me, let me hear you take a bite. Ah, uh, that's okay. All right. All right. We'll save it for you here, Louis. Cool. All right, Louis. Now you have a comment on the whole Monica Lewinsky situation. Go ahead. Yeah, I think I think with everything that's that's uh, gone on, I'm I'm glad that uh, the situation got solved and everything. But truthfully, it, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the way I think of it. I'm not gonna watch it. I don't think it's really gonna be really worth watching. Well, oh, Louis, such a party pooper. I know. Swallow first, for God's sakes. Somebody's got to be. Somehow ties into the Monica situation. Let me uh, ask you a question, Lou. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to, what? What are you saying, dirty-minded lady? Louis, uh, you're not going to watch this. But uh, do you find yourself riveted to the whole situation still? If Monica came out and she said, okay, that's it. I've got President's uh, pictures. I've got me and him together. I can prove that we were together. I can show it to you. Would you look at him? No. You just you really don't care that much to that point? No, I really don't. I think I think that uh, it's gone on far enough and it needs to be ended. And I mean, if she comes out with a book and makes money out of it, great. But uh, no, I really wouldn't look. All right. Well, you know, in that case, Lewis, I'm going to switch subjects. And while you're on the phone, yeah. since Lewis, I know you, Lewis, this is why I love you. You will call about any topic, no matter what it is. And Lewis, some other hosts here on 630 Show, they just yell at you. They don't like you. They got problems. I don't care, Lewis. I love you. If you were right, here, cool. I'd give you a big Rocky Rococo hug, mister. I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to ask you and tonight at the same time. Lewis, your pick for best picture this year. Oh, uh, for movies? Yeah, have you left the house? Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, um, the one, even though it was a uh, little dull in the beginning, I liked The Water Boy. For best picture, uh, Adam Sandler uh, and The Water Boy. Uh, well, you, Lewis, you, you never know. I'm, I'm cutting Lewis off right there. And I think somebody else should have cut Lewis's mom off, probably. Um, you know, uh, wow, The Water Boy, best picture. You see that happening? Uh, no, because I, I'm, I'm guessing Babe 2. Babe 2, Pig in the City? Hard to, uh, I feel awfully guilty after eating all the sausage on the pizza. Uh, babe 2, Pig in the City. Actually, you know, that was not bad. I'll, it was I'll not have to bad. Be honest you with saw it? Yes, I have. I've seen it three or four times. I'm going to get the DVD and watch it at home. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I've seen all these the movies that are, quote unquote, the best picture of the year. And I liked Saving Private Ryan, but they lop off a lot of arms and stuff in that. No, I didn't like that. I don't like when they lop off the arms. And uh, I like Sound of Music. But somebody said that came out a long time right, ago. Right, right. You know, but I love that with the doe, deer, and all that stuff. That stuff's nice. Um, but I, I still say that somebody could make a movie about this Monica Lewinsky thing and tie it all back together. Can you say a sentence? I'm going to burp. <laughs> Just say whatever you're going to say. Go ahead. Go, go to her camera if you would. Don't you think we need some more callers? Okay. Yes, Call we in. do. No, Call that's, in. that's a good way to get the callers that's instead good. of just asking a question or maybe having some discourse between us. Don't, don't you think we need it. some more callers? That was beautiful. It was a nice transition. I'm telling yeah. you, you'll be working here in no that's time. Right. I see you with a job. Yeah, in the food service industry. <laughs> Thanks for helping out the way you have. We're talking about other things. I've got every issue in the world right here in front of me, like this. Oh, but we can't. What? Time for more pizza? All right, we're going to stop. We're going to eat some more Rocky Rococo's pizza, and we will be back with more on the 6.30 show. All right, we need more callers. 270-9933. Tonight, Darlington, Dave Gray, and whatever you want to say.
Hey, for those of you who want to join me in the studio, very simple, very easy. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope, that's S-A-S-E to you and me, to TVW 7025 Raymond Road, Madison, Wisconsin, 53719. Or you can email me some requests. That would be at the Dave630show at yahoo.com. Tickets will be held at the door uh, along with other things. It's two tickets per request per show for Tuesday evenings. You can come join the studio audience, which tonight is one. So uh, why not? You know what? We have a caller on the line, and it's uh, I think it's sarcastic. And I think we got to go to that. It's Chris on line one. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hey. How Hi, are babe. you? Hi, right, Chris. I'm tender, I'm loving, and I'm ready for a sarcastic comment. Can I have one? Yeah, we were, me and my friend were just sitting around here, and... I'm guessing you do that a lot when you're waiting for the unemployment check to come in. No, not really, but we're sitting around, we're thinking to ourselves, you know, this guy, I don't know if he's quite quap capable of dressing that good. Well, Chris, you know, I know I am capable of hanging up on you, because I have a TV show and you have no GED. Now, let's go to uh, Jason <laughs> on line three. You think Sly can be mean to people? Watch me fly, babe. I got smoke. Jason, you, you have a comment about the best movie. I, yeah, I was thinking Saving Private Ryan by far. You know, I'm with you. You know, I love the movie. I thought it might be a little violent, and I'm afraid Academy voters might be afraid to vote for it because it's another Tom Hanks film, et cetera. Do you think so? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. But I got another comment. Go You're for saying it. saying Rocky Rococo's Pizza is best in Madison? Uh-oh, Jason, I got to cut you off before you say no. Sorry. I hate having to do that, but then again, I love the power. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. If I could do that in my life, do you know how good things would be? Like, people would say, Dave, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to break up. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut you off, honey. You're not going to be able to break up with me. I'm cutting you off. Uh, anyway, so, uh, Tanaya, I'm going to ask you one more thing before we go. That's about Y2K. Fire because away. We talked about uh, the Y2K bug, as it were. And uh, you know I'm hoarding. And you're kind of, I know you are hoarding. <laughs> wow. Which, I, I Got my own said, generator. I said horny, horny for a second. <laughs> and I was going to, really, I was going to bring up nope, again the attributes of the Rocky Reporter's <laughs> pizza. Don't cut me off just because you're horny. That's no reason, although we do have a report about the attributes of circumcision coming up later. And I am going in for a second trim. We have um, a report here, just like a flat top. Uh, the Senate voted 99 to nothing on a measure sponsored by Senator Christopher Boyd. He's a Republican from mm -hmm. Missouri, mm -hmm. okay? And that will require small business administrations to guarantee loans or businesses, you ready for this, to fix their computers or threatened by Y2K problems, et cetera. Anyway, basically just saying that no matter what, these guys get loans. If you're a small business and you need the money and you go to them and say it's a Y2K problem, you're gonna get money. Now, that obviously says, yes, we admit there's an incredible problem. They've also come out and said, you should prepare for this the way you would a hurricane. By hoarding really? things. Yeah, hmm. by hoarding things, I guess you would say. Right. Now, you heard some you heard some weird, yeah, crazy radio show. Yeah, I was show. listening to the radio, and uh, there was a guy who's written a whole book on how to prepare your family for Y2K, and he's suggesting collect. If you know, it's going to be in the winter, so here in the Midwest, um, making sure that you have garbage bags over your drain spouts so that the snow, when it melts, you know, you have rain to mm -hmm. drink. Um, puncturing your hot water heater, you know, to get down some water out of there. Um, you know, all this malarkey. How many pounds well, of rice you need? How many pounds of beans? You know, you can call it malarkey, but at the same time, I mean. I've had people on the show who said that out of the, I think it's 188 power plants, mm -hmm. like one is ready. And mm -hmm. that if just one isn't ready, it's a domino effect. Even if it's only for a few weeks and everybody goes down and you don't have water and you don't have power, everybody's living in this age now where, I know you don't have a TV and you admitted that to me when you were out there fascinated by the moving pictures in the box. <laughs> um, but in the, in the age that we live in where everybody relates to and, and it depends so much on the electronic age, I think that people are a little bit scared and going to be more frightened when all of a sudden that shut off, especially because, think about it, they're going to be more drunk than they've ever been in their life. They say there's going to be so many people in Times Square uh -huh. that people will not be able to take a deep breath. Ooh, sick. Seriously. Wow. So, so where are you That's scary to me. Where am I going to be? I'm uh -huh. going to be somewhere with a gun, hanging out with Lewis <laughs> watching the water boy. Speaking of which, let's show this picture right here. Okay, there it is. You put your caption on that and you send it to Dave630show at yahoo.com. Win yourself a Riker of Coco's Pizza, the best damn pizza on the planet. There I am. Thank you to Tonight Darlington. Thank you to my crew. You people are the best. Thank you. I will see you again. Mwah. I love you.